Hello, my name is Terry Bell and I'm from Health Trek. Today I'm here to explain to you the importance of bowel cleansing and bowel maintenance. But first of all, ask the person who give you this film for a food combining chart. And I'm just going to explain it right here. I've got it in my hand. Three main rules of food combining. This is according to the Chinese. First of all, desserts and fruits take two hours to digest. Protein, which is meat and eggs, takes 12 hours to digest. Starches take five hours to digest. So the digestive time is very important. First of all, you should never, rule number one, have a dessert after your meal. And a lot of Canadians do that and Americans. The reason? You eat meat, it's 12 hours to digest it. You eat a fruit right after, it's two hours. It lands on top of your meat and starts to rot and ferment. Rule number two, milk, it says eat alone. You should never have milk with anything. It rots everything in its path because it is a protein fat. Okay, milk long ago used to be not refined or anything else and it was a lot better. Now if you eat it with anything, it rots. So you say, how am I gonna eat my cereal? You look under starch, it says cereal. You look under cereal, it says eat with fat. You look under fat over here and it says eat with cream. All cereals should be eaten with cream. You will not get fat, you will not get high cholesterol because when starches and cream mix, they do not rot. Okay, they perfectly digest. Okay, now the last one. Meat, it says eat with non-starch green vegetables. You should never eat meat with a starch. The reason, when you eat meat, the body produces an acid. When you eat a starch, the body produces an alkaline. When acid and alkaline mix, you have nothing. So you have a big ball of food stuck here in your bowel. Now your body's got to take all this energy and push it through. The body signals the brain and says, I'm starving now. I'm still hungry. Eat more even though I'm puffed and bloated. So you eat more the wrong way, and it does the same thing. It starts to rot in your system. So eating properly is important. You should eat meat and vegetables. You could eat meat, it says with leafy green vegetables, non-starch, right there. So there's lots of combinations. Ask the person who give you this film for a copy of this sheet. It may change your life. This is the bowel as it's supposed to appear in the normal person. This is not very often seen. Today I'm gonna to travel through the, the route that food travels from your mouth and out the rectum. Okay, first of all, the food, you can see it goes down here into the stomach where it would sit for, from a half hour to two hours, and then it goes all the way through the small intestine, down into the large bowel and out the rectum. Just explaining a little bit of the anatomy. Uh, the liver produces bile, which stores it in the gallbladder, and then the gallbladder is like a big fly, and it just spits on your food, enzymes, which helps to digest your food, okay? This is your tongue, okay? And the tongue is filled with a bunch of little nerve endings and fingers, and why I'm showing the tongue on there, this is the first part of the trip that food takes. It goes into your mouth and down through the system. And you've always been told to chew your food well. And because of the fast growing society, we're all eating on the run. And that's why we eat at McDonald's and all over the place, fast food places, because we're in a hurry. And what you do, you're supposed to chew your food from 10 to 30 times, even me. I'm guilty of not chewing my food. I'm fast chewing and down it goes and you swallow it. And what happens when you chew this food, your tongue has a sensitivity to sense things like, is it sweet or sour or salty or bitter? And it signals the brain and tells the liver what kind of digestive enzyme to send down to the stomach to digest your food. So and as this food goes down the system, the tongue is responsible for that signal. So if you eat your food too fast, it's not signaling it needs enough enzymes and therefore half of your food does not digest. Here's another picture of the tongue. Okay, here's the stomach. 
and then it goes into what is known as the small intestine. A lot of people, I'm explaining this because they don't know how the body works. Now you see over here all these little fingers? There's the bowel, the large bowel, and the small intestine are full of a lot of little finger-like tentacles hanging out, like an octopus's little octopus sitting in there, or it looks like an elephant's trunk, and they absorb nutrition as the food goes by, and it goes into the small intestine. Now, if you swallowed food in chunks and it didn't digest, you didn't chew it up, well, neither can this small intestine. So some of that food comes out exactly the way it went in, like corn, for instance. And you can see grapes and food of all sorts going in and coming out exactly the same thing. Well, you never got nothing out of that. You just put your system through a lot of trauma. So here is the small intestine. And here's what a villi finger looks like. Tiny little fingers absorbing the nutrition. Now the small intestine is about 30 feet long and the size of your thumb. So if you can imagine swallowing a grape and it's got to get through there, it's jamming up a lot of stuff. And that's why some people feel puffed and bloated and gastric after they eat. One of the reasons is not food combining properly. Another one is eating too fast. So it's jamming down that small intestine and it's not digesting. So you can see what's happening. It starts coming out on the other end. So, and the body was made for one meal in, one meal out. Your body can hold up to three to four meals a day. Now a lot of people go to the toilet once a day. The body was made one meal in, one meal out. So if you eat twice a day, you should be going to the bathroom twice a day. Some people every two, three days. Their doctor tells them every two or three days, they say. Well, according to the Chinese, one meal in, one meal out. And it's very important you do that or the meals start piling up and pockets start forming. Now this is the bowel right here. And we're going to explain this. The bowel, each pocket, feeds a different organ or gland. Now the food's gone through the small intestine and got to the large bowel. And it's like a big dryer and it dries this food out and the liquid is transferred over to the kidney and out. And the bowel takes this hard stuff and pushes it out of your system. Now each pocket feeds a different organ or gland. So you're looking on here, one you'll see there will feed the neck, feed the ears, feed the brain, and, and so forth. And each pocket, like I said, has fingers, like an elephant's trunk. And as food goes by, it absorbs it. And this is the backup for the small intestine. The small intestine absorbs nutrition, so does the large. Now this bowel here, there's different types of bowels. This is a prolapsed bowel. This is usually a bowel from a woman that was pregnant. Her belly will stretch that out. It doesn't have to be. You can see men with a great big belly. This bowel is stretched. Now all of those fingers are stretched. Now this food's got to go all the way up and chug all the way down and up again and down and try to get out. So you think that person can have a real problem with his bowel? He sure can. The next bowel we see right here, I was just going through the prolapsed, is prolapsed with pressure. These kind of bowels that are like that, that a woman have, a lot of them have painful intercourse. I've taken courses on reflexology and sexology. And in this case right here, this person, if a woman was having painful intercourse, uh, that's a good reason right there because her organ is stretched and it's putting a lot of pressure on the lower organs. Now this is called colitis. A lot of people don't know what all of these mean. Crohn's is of the small intestine. Infection in the small intestine. Colitis is the big intestine or the large intestine. Now you can see this bulging right here. Bulging, that's food piling up, which has been fermented and rotten. It's known as BM and it's jamming right there. And you hear of people with hemorrhoids and fissures and everything else. There's a good excuse for it right there. That bowel is bulged to about four to six inches wide and it's trying to get through a one inch hole. And there's a stricture there. That's why these people have a lot of pain. And these little fingers in there, every hour, a different organ or gland eats in the body. And they draw nutrition because they can't all eat at once, the body would collapse. They all take a lunch hour just like people at work at different times so the job can go on. 
Now this, every time the bowel eats, it sucks garbage through the system and starts rotting the system down. Now here is the most common thing happening to Canadians and Americans because we're always in a rush and we're always holding our BM. We're on the way uptown, you're stamping your foot at Safeway. You see these people stamping their foot? They're holding their BM because they don't have time to use the washroom. Go away, they need to use it, just like little animals. Animals in the house, that stay in the house, have cancer more than animals that are outside because an animal that's outside just goes to the bathroom when it wants. In the house, it has to hold it. It's trained to hold it. You should not be holding your BM. As soon as you need to use that washroom, you go. Kids are at school. They should never be holding the bathroom till recess. You should go right away because that's here's what happens. You need to use the bathroom. You hold it. It backs up and it stretches a pouch. That feeling disappears and it stores it there for you. It's trying to help you out. Now BM starts to jam in these pockets. One famous actor said he never had a bowel problem. He went to the toilet three times a day and he had cancer. And according to the Chinese, you can never have cancer, heart attacks or stroke, tumors or fibroids without having a bowel problem. Well, when they cut his bowel open, he had 75 pounds of diverticuli pockets in his bowel. And there's hardly a person that does not hold the VM because we're always in a rush. And if you don't ever hold back from using the washroom, then you've never left the house. This is diverticuli. Symptoms. Here's a spastic bowel. This guy has spasms because this bowel is so low on nutrition, the walls are caving in. And a stricture. It's all of this BM trying to go through that little hole. You're going to have a lot of pain. Here's some of the symptoms you would experience with a bowel problem. Here's diverticuli. And I'm just going to explain some of those symptoms now. See these little black hockey pucks? We had a woman that went to the doctor and took a picture of that one year when we tested her. And a year later, she took that and she only had four of these black little hockey pucks left on the x-ray after taking a bowel cleanse. Now, it's very important. You see, they're called diverticular. Symptoms of a bowel problem. You can get constipated, diarrhea, or both. That's a good symptom of diverticuli. Okay, you can start picking up tumors, fibroids, and aneurysms. Then the following symptoms, you could get puffed and bloated, gastric, burping, farting, heartburn, cramps, chest pain, lower back pain, headaches, dizziness, sinus, and allergies. Now after this bowel is 50% incapacitated, which means down or plugged, you get extra symptoms for free. You can get a heart attack symptom which means pinches pains in the chest, heartburn, ringing in the ears, stand up too quick and get blackness in front of your eyes or little flickers. You could get asthmatic symptoms or arthritic just from your bowel. The Chinese say to treat your body like a house. You can cut the lights out, you can cut the water off and live there. But if the sewer backs up, you either clean that up or move out. Now here are some of the types of BM that have come out of a bowel. Now we've had people after taking a herb for a few months, you test them and they take a herb for a whole month, six feet of BM has been known to come out in one day. As round as a coffee cup, six feet long. Now that's a lot of poison stuck in your body. Remember if the poison isn't coming out, it's staying in and it's being sucked around the body. Here's some other forms this looks exactly like the intestine with the strictures in it and it finally let go. Here's some other stuff. And the reason we need bowel cleansers nowadays because there's so many chemicals in so many foods that jam the bowel. Here's some more symptoms. If you have pencil like BM, you have probably strictures in your bowel. If you have big wads like this, you're probably not eating your food in the right food combination. So if you say it's too hard to stop eating meat and potatoes, then you should take a digestive enzyme, which will digest the starch first, and then later on the liver will produce an acid and then digest the protein. Here are some of the things that have happened to people that their bowel backed up. You see people with pitch black legs, curled up yellow toes, a good indication of yeast, scabs on the feet, 
Well, the poison can only come out of your body four ways. It comes out through the bowel, the kidney, the lung, and that's people with bad breath. The first indication of a bowel problem is bad breath. And the last one is the lymphatic or the skin. And the reason it's coming out of there, it's helping you out so you don't get skin cancer or cancer somewhere. And this is some of the things that can happen. So you see people with psoriasis and eczemas and everything else, there's something wrong with their bowel. It also clogs arteries, causes blood clots, which you can see on this picture. Okay. The next one, you're coming down here. Men, lately you've noticed the prostate problem is becoming bigger and bigger problem. Now according to the Chinese, you cannot have a prostate problem unless you have a bowel problem. Now when they clean their bowel, it seems their prostate problems disappear. But a lot of times there is herbs and vitamins that people have had excellent results with. Remember, you clean where it came from, not the symptom. We do not attack the symptom. Where did it come from? A lot of people I know that I've uh, tested, they take painkillers for their bowel. So they want to kill the pain and they don't really want to know there's a pain in there. That's the same thing the Chinese say if you had a fire in your house in the bedroom, you close that door, you don't want to know about it. It spreads to another door, just like in your body to another organ. So you close that door. Pretty soon you've got no rooms left in your house and you've got no space left in your body. All those organs start dying. Now, here are some other things that happen from the bowel. You can get polyps, which is little sacs in the bowel that infect. Fissures, open scars and lesions in the bowel. External hemorrhoids, all because of a bowel problem. Now here are some other things about the bowel. Now you see this guy's bowel right here? You see how thin this is? There's something definitely wrong in this bowel. A lot of these things are caused by the way we eat. First of all, foods that we take in. Coffee. Coffee ki kills all of the enzymes in your body. One cup of coffee kills all the enzymes in your body for 24 hours. And a lot of people drink coffee, okay? Two good things for coffee. The best place for coffee is up the rectum, is an enema. And the other one is if somebody is having an asthma attack, two cups of coffee without sugar or milk. Okay, then there's liquor. Liquor damages the liver and knocks the whole system down. The worst thing on your liver, they say, is liquor. But according to the Chinese, black pepper is seven times harder on your liver than liquor. Then we have chocolate, which knocks the pancreas off. And when the pancreas cannot digest, your whole system goes on a whack. Okay? And there's other foods that knock our system off. Pop, for instance. One bottle of pop has six teaspoons of sugar in it. Now you see this bowel, the strictures and ballooning effect. We also have a bowel right here that's twisted. Do you think that BM is having a hard time to make that corner? That's how people are jamming up. But the everyday food well, they say I eat three times a day and I get all my nutrition. All the trace minerals of most foods are missing now. Since 1936, the agriculture met with the government in the United States and said that there was no trace minerals left in the soil. So what are we doing now? We're pumping chemicals back into the soil to replace trace minerals. And that's why you could eat the best food in the world and try to get all your nutrition and that's why today you have to have supplements because there is no nutrition left in the food. Here's another one. This is another bowel. It's in serious condition and you can see right here these strictures. A lot of people of this nature take laxatives and what a laxative does, it just makes these little villi in your bowel lay down and they don't absorb more nutrition and it also cuts a hole through the middle of it 
and it makes your bowel more relaxed. The bowel is like a choo-choo train effect. It pumps back and forth, moving the stuff along in your bowel. Now remember, if you're not eating properly, it's jamming up like a big mud ball. You're pushing that through, you're not getting nutrition. You're putting more strain on your bowel. It's better to eat six times a day small meals than starve yourself all day and just eat one big huge meal at night because it starts jamming your system. Each organ and gland eats at a different time in the system. So that's why it's important to eat at smaller intervals. Now here's another bowel. It's really, this is an x-ray of another bowel. And you can see these strictures that are jamming in this system. That's why they say once you get on a bowel cleanser and it starts to work, it's stay on that bowel cleanser, just take less of it. It takes seven times less herbs to maintain a bowel than it does to cleanse it. And you got to get your bowel cleansed. It's just like doing the dishes. You don't leave your dishes on the counter the next day, eat off of them again. You clean them off, rinse them off, and start again. And that's the same with your bowel. And every body needs eight glasses of water a day. Dryness in the mouth is a good indication. That's the last thing to show up when your body is short of water. You need that water to cleanse your bowel. So remember the first three things that are important about your bowel, you need to use the bathroom every day. Every bowel needs to use the bathroom at least two, three times a day. Very important. We need to try change some of our eating habits. Just take it slow, one day at a time. Start changing your habits. Cut off a of sweets, cut off a of coffee. Fruits and juices are a lot better. And then first, three things we do again. The bowel, first we cleanse, cleanse the bowel out. Then we repair any damage that's done in this system. Is this gonna take a while to clean out? It's gonna take about three to six months just to get this bowel cleaned out. And you remember, you can't go fast, you can only go slow. If you're starting to go too much and you get aches and cramps, just cut back a little bit. If you're not going enough, increase the herb. And the third one is repair. So remember, if you're 44 years old, according to the Chinese, it took 42 years for you to get sick. So it's very important. You see these big pockets? Those are all jammed. And just very slowly each day, you're gonna pump that out of there. And it takes a while. And it takes four to six weeks after you've started on a bowel cleanse to find out if it's really working. You will slowly start to feel better and better and better. It took you a long time to get sick. It's gonna take a little while compared to that to get healthy. You have to give at least a good six months to a year and you will really notice a difference. Most people feel it in two to four weeks. I always say six months to a year because they have to do that to get their body back. Remember, you've only got one body. And you see these people that got cancer? Boy, I was healthy for years. What happened? This person right here can look beautiful on the outside, but it's the inside that's destroying them. Here's a picture of another bowel that prolapsed. Do you know this person thinks they're very healthy too? Most people do. Until you start asking them questions. Do you get puffed and bloated and gastric and blurred vision? And they get all of those, but I'm healthy. And a lot of people say I use the bathroom once every three days, just like clockwork. Remember, if you're not using the bathroom three times a day, there's something happening to your system. In summary, I'm going to line up and show you on this chart how the body simply works. It all starts with the bowel, the big chain reaction. When the bowel goes down, the whole system goes down. According to the Chinese, the lung and the bowel work hand in hand like brother and sister. Each organ or gland does that in the body. So if your bowel goes down, most children that have asthma have a bowel problem. According to the Chinese, they all have a bowel problem. We clean their bowel and their asthmatic symptoms disappear. You could see right here, the liver and the gallbladder work like a brother and sister. So if you cut your gallbladder out, the liver has to do that work. Okay, same with kidney and bladder. And then you go over here, spleen and stomach. 
and the same organs work in the same type of situation. Now you're looking at this chart over here. Remember the bowel holds from 7 to 25 pounds of fecal matter. So it's important to keep it down at that 7 perspective. The less amount of BM in the bowel, the better it is. Now we go right over here and each organ or gland eats at a different time. So the heart eats from 11 to 1. So if you get tired after you eat at noon, you've got pressure on the heart according to the Chinese. The small intestine from 1 to 3, bladder from 3 to 5, 5 to 7 the kidney, circulation for sex to 7, 9 at night, 9 to 11 the triple warmer, the gallbladder from 11 to 1, liver. If you toss and turn between 1 and 3 in the morning, you probably have a liver problem. If you toss and turn between 3 and 5 in the morning, a lung problem. And if you have trouble sleeping between 5 and 7 in the morning, you have a large intestine problem, according to the Chinese. So remember, your bowel is what starts everything. So if you keep your bowel clean, the rest of your body can start functioning better and better. Thank you very much and have a good day and a healthy new year.